Hello again everyone, it's Vince Moore from TradingWinds.com and this is our update for July 18th, 2016. Let's take a quick look at today's markets. Well, we saw a seventh straight day of gains. The Dow was up 16 and a half points while the S&P was up 5 and the Nasdaq was up 26. So, how long can this run last? Well, there's an interesting statistic out there that many uh, traders use and and uh, that's uh, they use the 200 day moving average so what they look at is the number of stocks in any index uh, and one that's used most often is the s p 500 they look at the number of stocks in the s p 500 that are over or are currently trading above the 200 day moving average versus the number trading below the 200 day moving average and usually using the contrarian um, method in other words doing the opposite of the masses, what they look for is when uh, there are, is, you know, some traders use 70, others use 75 percent, others use 80 percent of stocks trading above the 200-day uh, moving average. They consider that a, a signal that a downturn is imminent. In other words, they consider the market to be overbought at that point and are looking for a retracement and currently we are sitting at 74 percent so 74 percent of stocks in the s p are above their 200 day moving average i thought i'd share that with you it's an interesting stat uh there's also an article about it on, on cnbc today but um that's where we're sitting right now otherwise looking at this at, at the market i mean this run higher continues although slowly but it is continuing. But certainly we are extended and due for some type of pullback here, which is imminent. Now, uh, look. let's look at a few other charts. Bonds today were fairly flat, while gold uh, was up 240 today and gold was down 69 cents. Looking ahead, there were several earnings report after the market closed. IBM beat they came in at 295 a share versus 289 and we're actually up two and a half percent after um in after off uh, after hours trading excuse me but there were a couple that were down one was yahoo they came in at nine cents versus an estimated 10 cents a share and they were trading lower but the big one was netflix netflix although they came in at nine cents a share uh when the street was only expecting two cents a share. The number of subscribers they added was a lot lower than expected. They came in at 1.7 million new subscribers for the quarter versus 2.5 million. And the market certainly did not like that, at least in after hours trading. The stock is down 15%. So that could, that could lead to a lower open tomorrow. We'll see how all of these, along with several other earnings, uh, have uh, an effect overnight and, and uh, we'll see where we open but that's about it for now enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you on our next update